everyone. I am here vlogging my last trip as a Newark-based flight attendant. Um, this is my last trip before I transfer to San Francisco, which is crazy and surreal and I'm honestly really sad about it, but I'm also just so excited for what San Francisco has in store. Um, so my last trip right now is a three day. I just got it and I'm super excited. I really wanted it. It's one leg to Aguadilla, Puerto Rico tonight. And then I have 24 hours and then I do one leg back. Um, and I made this like Newark bucket list back in May of the things I wanted to do and accomplish before um, I transfer. And I crossed off so many things on the list except for one thing and one thing was have an island layover an island layover here in like the Caribbean and I kind of came to terms with like not being able to do this uh, and then I got it on my last trip which is so exciting and so crazy. It's going to be about 85 degrees and sunny in Puerto Rico tomorrow and it's going to be snowing here in Newark so excited to miss the snow and yeah it's about 2 30 p.m right now my check-in isn't until 7 so i have a lot of time to pack and to get ready packing, packing. hi guys i'm at the airport now i made myself some tea i'm waiting for my plane i think my plane came in from aruba just made it to my hotel in Puerto Rico. I just did one flight over here from Newark to Aguadilla and the flight, the flight was only three hours and 15 minutes. So like the flight and the service was easy, but like we, we had a lot of different kinds of passengers. We had a wedding party and they were like really fun and really nice, but they were celebrating. So they were a little, a little wild. And then we also had a medical emergency and there was someone who needed medical attention from pretty much like the beginning of the flight to the very, very end of the flight. So there was just a lot to deal with with that. And like our attention was pulled in different ways. And honestly, like I know being a flight attendant, a lot of people just think that you like pour drinks and you serve snacks, but really like the job is so much more than that. And um, like times like this really remind me like what I am on the plane for. But anyway, um, I am excited that I'm here. It is about 2 a.m. It's 1.40 a.m. And um, I'm going to sleep tomorrow. I have plans to go to the beach. And I'm very excited because I love the beach. I love warm weather. I love that all. So um, I'm going to do that tomorrow. But right now, all I'm going to do, sleep, maybe watch some TV. That's pretty much it. Two beds, one, two, one for sleeping, one for eating. Am I right, ladies? <sighs> There's nothing that makes me more sad than this right here. I'll try to show you around the hotel tomorrow. It's pretty cool though, like the pool at the hotel is really cool. And then there's like a casino in here and like a Denny's inside the hotel. So that's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to sleep, good night. This is my view from my hotel room. It's not too much, but you can see it is green and sunny and there's the ocean over there. Good morning, everyone. It is about 10, 15 a.m. I am about to catch a shuttle to the beach with um, another girl in my crew about 10 minutes from now. Um, I did not sleep very well. I It takes a while for me to like decompress after a flight. I think it's like extrovert problems. Um, so I didn't go to bed until late. And then I kept waking up, and I don't know why, but... I feel good right now. I should be able to take a nap before I leave tonight from Aguadilla back to Newark. Um, and it shouldn't be that hard of a flight. So bright, so warm, so sunny. I love it.
friends just got back to my hotel room after spending all day at the beach it was so nice so fun the weather was perfect it was like 83 degrees it was sunny but then there were some clouds and a nice breeze and the water was beautiful and so warm and it was honestly just like the perfect beach day it wasn't too crowded and it was so nice i hopefully got some sun got some color um got some vitamin d to take back with me to snowy newark because it was snowing today then we went to lunch and we went to a puerto rican restaurant on the beach and i got some puerto rican food i got mofongo and with shrimp and this is something that my puerto rican roommate suggested to get and it was basically like smashed up like plantains and then filled with like shrimp and it had like this like garlic butter sauce and it was so good i'm so full i am ready to shower to get like i have so much sand on me still so i'm ready to shower get cleaned up and then take a nap my flight does not well my pickup time is at 12 40 a.m it is 5 p.m right now so i still have like a good amount of time to get ready which is super great super nice so that's all so i took a nap i ate i watched some tv i went on my phone i still have two hours before i have to get ready it's only like 9 30 and i don't have to get ready until like 11 40 so i don't know what i'm gonna do for two hours Hi hey guys, it's about 12.25 a.m. We changed our shuttle time from 12.40 to 1 a.m. because our inbound plane is delayed. That's coming from Newark. It doesn't land until like 1.27, so we changed our shuttle time so we didn't have to be waiting at the airport and so we could have more time at the hotel. I am pretty much ready. I just have to um, change and like pack my food, but my makeup's done and everything else is packed. Um, honestly, this layover was so nice, so relaxing, exactly what I needed for my last trip um, in Newark. Um, I'm looking forward to this last flight. Um, we're not full, so I'm hoping it's going to be pretty easy and everyone just goes to sleep <laughs> the whole time since it's so late. It's like such a weirdly timed flight. But yeah, I land in Newark, um, I think around like 5.15 a.m. Um, I'm hoping to be released into my days off and then I can really start like packing and getting ready to move back across the country to California. So yeah, hope it's a good last flight. I'll talk to you guys later. to head down to catch my shuttle. today around like 4 45 a.m 5 a.m something like that i got back and i knocked out until 1 p.m and it is 2 p.m now um but yeah i finished my last trip as a new york based flight attendant and i am sad that like that part of my life is over and like i'm closing that chapter but i'm really excited for what's to come so stay tuned for my new vlogs as a san francisco based flight attendant and i'll talk to you guys later